Our shade garden was started a couple of years ago and we look for shapes and textures to add some interest to the garden. If you look up under the pine tree, you'll see a variety of shade. And when people think about a shade garden, they have to take into consideration whether it's deep shade, whether it's part sun, part shade, whether it's filtered light, and then select the native plants that uh, work well with those light conditions. And as you've seen, under a deeper full shade, we've concentrated on adding ferns. There are actually over 30, it's about 39 varieties of native ferns. You'll see the different light, and most people have different light degrees. At the top, we planted a hydrangea, which is more sun to part shade. That's an Annabelle, which is a native hydrangea. So you can have lots of types of flowers, but keep them in the native range. But homeowner, if they had a rule of thumb, maybe 70% native, 30% non-native, then they would feel like they would be uh, helping the environment. Plus, really, native plants are less stress for the plant and also less, uh, less stress for the homeowner. If you're trying to keep a plant alive that doesn't really belong there, it's a lot of stress. But with the native plants, they're used to the soil conditions, they're used to the, the light conditions, and the weather. If homeowners try to follow, you know, 70% native plant rule, then I think they'll find that there's enough variety, enough texture, enough color to add interest to their garden. One of the plants that I wanted to point out to you is called Summer Sweet. And if you walk with me this way, you can see it right here. Now we're in the middle of a very intense heat wave, but you can see how beautiful the plant is being in the shade, but also the fact that the leaves are a deep green and at a time when a lot of our gardens plants are fading because of the heat you'll notice that the summer sweet is just starting to come into bloom now you can keep this low by trimming it a little bit or you can let it grow naturally and it will grow to six or eight feet high and wide <clears throat> you can pair it with some other natives colorful natives like evening primrose which blooms most of the summer into late August and it has a nice bright yellow and you can pair that against the spiderwort which is one of the most unusual one of my favorite plants it has varying shades of purple for the flowers which bloom oh almost constantly through the summer and then you can have a backdrop of something like the swaying sea oats, northern sea oats, which is beautiful texture and an interesting variety of grass. There are so many options to the um, native plants for a shade garden, but I hope this gives you an idea of several. Thank you.